In most places, wheelchair access to the plane is usually directly from the airport gate. Take your own chair right up to the entrance of the plane and you'll be transferred into an aisle chair. But on some small planes or in some foreign countries, we've had the experience that you have to go onto the tarmac, which is an interesting experience, which you can see in this picture. Here you see John being transferred from the man, his manual chair to an, the narrow aisle chair where uh, he's strapped in securely and he's being pulled up the ramp. This is as primitive as it ever gets. You can see the aisle chair better in this picture. It is narrow enough to take you to any seat, but we always request the first seat on the plane. Airline personnel can lift you if you need to be lifted. So don't worry about whatever your weight is, as they will accommodate any shape, size, or level of disability. After asking a few groups in Kauai, we found a helicopter sightseeing group that agreed to lift John onto the helicopter. We took a 45-minute sightseeing tour inside a volcano with spectacular views. John hadn't been in a helicopter since Vietnam, and this was a very different experience, and it was a first for me. Cruises are the easiest way to travel. Everything's done for you in a cruise. If planning is too challenging for you, go for a cruise because it's all done. Wheelchair accessible rooms are in the center of luxury cruise ships and they are two times the size but the same price as a normal room. Always ask for a roll-in shower and you will get that wheelchair accessible huge room. There are no windows but the advantage is that it's the most stable part of the boat so you won't get seasick. We used to live near Venice. This is the first time that we've been back in Venice when John's been in a wheelchair. We did all the research online, even the hotels we were able to book, and it was faster and uh, cheaper to do it online than it would be to go through a travel agent. And um, it really was very accessible, even with the bridges. You can get around in all of those boats that are all accessible. Here we are at St. Mark's Cathedral. There are ramps going into most of the churches. This is in the Jewish ghetto in Venice. You can see that the streets of Venice are all accessible. Most Italian cities are accessible. Florence is accessible. My daughter lived there for a while and she did actually a little brochure on the accessibility of Florence and all the sightseeing places are accessible, as is Rome and all major Italian cities. In Palermo, Sicily, in front of a church where my grandparents got married, there are wheelchair accessibility to all of the sidewalks because they are done for motor scooters. So it's not really done for wheelchairs, but it works. And the, the airport in Palermo is very, very modern and accessible. Greece uh, was a nightmare. You can see John, he was carried up to the stairs of the museum in Athens. Nothing is accessible, it seems like, in Greece. They just haven't gotten the message. Uh, it was um, a different mindset of the people. In fact, I think that's the way it is in Mexico. We've experienced that and I've told, I've been told by people that Japan and China are similar in their inaccessibility. So you really need to do your homework if you plan to go to those places. You know, you can't across the board say it's not accessible. You just have to do your homework. All the intercontinental hotels were accessible and very nicely so. Athens in some areas like this resort in a, a town in Lesbos, which is the largest northern uh, island in the Greek islands, had a totally accessible hotel which we stayed at, which was beautiful. John lived in England when he was an Air Force brat as a child. So we went back there and we stayed at a Marriott which was fully accessible. And all the Marriott's, it seemed like even the United States, are all very accessible. 
time share that we stayed at in Lancaster was absolutely fabulous. It had a five-star spa, which we took full advantage of. John had his first body massage, and now he gets them regularly. It's great for people with MS. John wants to return to places that he has either lived in or been to before. And here we are at Waikiki Beach in Hawaii, where he went to meet me when he was in Vietnam. We went there in R&R in 1969. John painfully watched me play 18 holes of golf in Kauai, but the scenery made up for it. He was delighted to accompany us to make up the foursome with his cousins, and we had a great day. Canada is close by by car, and it's a short uh, air travel distance, so you should really try to get up there. All state and national parks are by law accessible with accessible campgrounds. In fact, you can get in free with an accessible card. I'm not going to say that it's all going to be easy, but you can do it with a little bit of a creative uh, thought. Here, a friend of my son's, when we were in California this summer, is fixing John's brake. And here is my brother when we went on a boat tour of, around New York City. My brother insisted on uh, pushing my husband and he ended up going over an embankment and the wheel came off. So here we are on the boat uh, getting the fixing of the, of the wheel. But we, we made it and we kept on going around New York City. Sometimes when they say that it's an accessible timeshare, their idea of accessibility and our idea of accessibility don't actually jive. Uh, when John's cousin here on the right got to the uh, accessible unit, which I checked with so many times on tele telephone, he got there and was amazed that there was actually a step going down into the living room and a step going down into the bedroom. So um, he was able to uh, find a ramp that they had and then uh, we found that the ramp was not that accessible so they built little sides on it while we were there and um, you know usually people will make accommodations for you so just speak up and they will accommodate. So you want to make sure that you do your homework, you want to be a creative uh, traveler, you want to have this wonderful adventure, so don't stop going places because you're in a wheelchair or you have MS and you think that it's going to be difficult. You can travel, you'll have a great time, and it's well worth it.